Hi, this is Ken Colby. I'm the author of G-Code Photo Wizard. Now, G-Code Photo Wizard is exactly like Laser Photo Wizard, except it can only output to G-Code machines. I built this product so there would be a cheap alternative for the low-cost $200 to $500 G-Code um, laser engravers. So the first thing that's missing is when you go to save, it says save GSW file. Now this file is only to save your settings and restore your settings. It has nothing to do with the laser. So let's take a look at how we send information to the laser. You click send to laser and this dialog box comes up. Now it assumes that you've connected your laser to a COM port. So let's try COM port 1 and nothing happens. We see, oh, we have another choice, COM port 3. And now we see the configuration info. So pretty much that that uh, is really all you have to do to get going. As soon as you see this laser connected, um, this OK sign, you're ready to go. You can get information about your laser here. And then you need to uh, go to a G-code manual to see what all these little settings are. But Anyways, that shows you what, what the current settings are. Now the other thing you have to worry about is your raster rate and raster power. Now raster is when the uh, thing scans back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, the vector is uh, a separate. So in the vector power, you're going from point to point to point. And those in green screen wizard or laser photo wizard, those would be the red lines. So we give you uh, two separate choices. So the slower the rate, the bigger the burn. Obviously, the higher the power, the higher the burn. Okay. Then you can turn the laser on to focus it and, and off to defocus it. I recommend you get a piece of black tape and put it down and focus on the black tape. It turns out that when you focus on white, it doesn't really uh, do too much. This will allow you to jog your your uh, image around, or your the head of your laser. But the most important thing is now we're going to send to the laser. So we click this, and we should start seeing these things whizzing by. These are all the commands being sent off to the laser. Okay. And uh, it'll take a while before the progress will kick in. But pretty soon what will happen is the progress will show up. And then you'll get an estimate based on how long it's taking you to do the first part of the file. It gives you a crude estimate of how long it's going to take. Now the other thing, if, if the image comes out backwards or upside down, you can invert these axes. Uh, of course you can get help. Oh, there we go. So now our, our jobs expect to take one hour and 15 minutes. And we've just started. Zero hours, zero minutes. Okay. So the laser is going away. I'm going to stop it here. Because it's burning a hole in my desk. <laughs> but anyways, uh, here's where you save your G-code. So you need, we needed to put the save inside here because you want to specify all these rates for engraving in another product. So you simply say save G-code and it will by default give you the name of the girl and this NC file. Okay? And then you can save it. You can use this drop down to go to different uh, places on your computer to save it if you want. So we'll just save it as our local C, and we don't care, we'll replace it. So that's pretty much how to run the thing, um, as long as I have you a couple other th deals. Uh, oh wait, let's go back to this. If your, your laser engraving areas, let's connect to the laser again. So you can see this is like 19 by 19 inches, so it's pretty big. but. Um, the, uh, some other lasers may be smaller than your image, and if they are, you have to get out of here 
and change your image size so that it's a small enough image. The uh, number of dots per inch greatly affect the time. So if the thing's taking forever, you might want to lower the to 200 dots per inch. Now if your laser is not too high a quality, then you'll want to use the sketch mode. If not, you can go all the way up to the uh, annealing mode, which is uh, gives you a finer output. So basically the other things about all these other settings are covered in the first video, or you can look at the laser photo wizard video. But the big difference for G-code photo wizard is a send to laser. So I hope that helps. And uh, if you have any questions, please send uh, to support at greenscreenwizard.com. And uh, I'll try to get a hold of you. Thanks a lot for listening. Hope you enjoy the project.